of a Tay, the trains run to the usual timetable. But politics has accelerated here. Broughty Castle's seen its battles for control of Scotland, but perhaps none as decisive as this election. Those on the long walk to independence have found others joining them, believing the wind has changed in their direction. I remember waking up the day after the referendum and feeling glad that we'd voted no. But since then, we've had the Brexit referendum and Brexit eventually made me decide that the people of Scotland should be deciding our future and not governments we don't vote for. It's changed the equation for you? It's absolutely changed the equation for me. Do you think Covid has emboldened Scotland to go its own way? We've been saying for a long time that Scotland could do things differently and suddenly this is actually show not tell. You know, we're actually seeing that we can make decisions in the best interests of our communities. I think the Scottish Government has definitely handled Covid so much better than Boris and his bunch in London. I mean, Do you think Boris Johnson is your greatest asset in terms of getting independence? He's a great asset for us, yeah. We want Boris to stay. And maybe if they could make, uh, I don't know, re-smog the minister in charge of Scotland, that would be even better. An independent mindset isn't just ancient but recent history here. The vote for Scottish separation was higher in Dundee than anywhere else in 2014. That referendum was billed as once in a generation, but the question in this election is whether so much has changed since then that that time has effectively elapsed. But while life in Dundee undoubtedly looks different, for these university students, many of the same arguments remain at play. If the union has no future, what does that mean for theirs? What does your heart say? My heart says that independence would give us an opportunity for our independent views to be listened to, but we're not a big enough or a strong enough country that would ever work. I just feel like it could be a bit too soon to vote, to have an re um, independence referendum so soon again. I don't think England does treat Scottish people very well, and sometimes like vice versa as well. So it's a nice idea of being united, but are we really? Rather than providing an answer about the future of the union, Thursday's election could begin a process which questions it once again. Paul Brand, ITV News, Dundee.